<laughs> Wait, you got out of prison two weeks ago? Yeah, yeah. Oh, for what? <laughs> uh, possession of marijuana. Yeah. That that two months is what that gets you in federal prison. Yes. Oh wow. Yeah, it's a yeah. good time. That's cool, kid prison. Yeah, it's a, it really is. If you have a choice, you, you want to go with the, the federal prison system. Is that uh, I can't tell if you're goofing because an office no, space no. made it seem like federal is not the good one. Federal is the good one. It absolutely is. Okay. Uh, it, it definitely is because state prisons, um, from what I was told by prisoners, like 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 federal prison has like their low really means low. Their camp really means it's it's more of a camp, and their max is really fucking max <laughs> but in state prison depending on funding like maybe ah throw them in the medium you know like, like, like the levels aren't as as defined as well like like, like their low might be pretty fucking rough they mix them maybe too much so i'm getting i'm not an expert but that, that, that's definitely my understanding of the scenario um uh, yeah. that, that the state prison like like uh, even when i was in county jail they were like oh yeah i knew a guy that got killed in a state prison i'm like what why <laughs> Stole potato chips. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good tip for you guys listening out there. Commit federal crimes. Federal crimes, boys. Yeah. Always federal crimes. Go big or go home. That's what I always say. <laughs> yeah. Well, you don't go home. Do it. Do it right. <laughs> go, go, go big or yeah, don't go. <laughs> go big and don't go home. Possessions is still a state crime in Georgia as well. So how did you get tried for a federal on a federal level for it? Um, because we beat the state case because they wrote, wrote a bad warrant. Um, they, they wrote a warrant that said they were able to search my home due to the fact that I was wearing shorts. I haven't heard this a little bit. Oh. Were they yeah, tie-dye? Yeah. Cause they're kind of stoner. Like, no, nah, they cause, were, uh, probable they, cause. I, was, nah, I had some cargo shorts on and they said, because I was wearing shorts, that meant that I was heading straight home with the, with the half ounce of marijuana and therefore they had the right to search my home. Whereas if I'd wearing, been wearing slacks, I guess, then I was going about my day into the world. And, uh, and so that was going to get thrown out. So it was all of the evidence that was actually acquired. And, uh, the, but the feds, because of the, the types of firearms that are, I, I, I owned. Okay. So this is the M240 Bravo. We're able to search my house regardless, just because I had been found to have possess any marijuana whatsoever. Like, a seed of marijuana or a, a hundredth of a gram of marijuana would give them the ability to search my home. So the state lost their case. And so the feds picked it out. What do they do with the guns? They just hold on to them, put them in a big uh, vault somewhere. Probably destroy them. Oh, that's a shame. Hmm. What would you 200 K like, I, I if you get more than that in guns. Yeah. Closer to 400. <laughs> they took $400,000 worth of guns. Holy cow. I had half an ounce of marijuana. I was a real danger to society. You have to understand. I didn't trust him either. When they called me, I said, don't let, leave no stone unturned. <laughs> I said, did you know there's more guns in the basement? <laughs> did you check the bunker out back? That's where the real shit is. <laughs> Who's checking the mail? 